Hi and welcome. In this video, we are going to discuss about character swap problem. This was asked in Code Forces round 599 division 2. Okay, this is B level problem. Now, as you can see, character swap easy version. This is the easy version of the problem. We also have a hard version of the same problem. Okay, we will see that version in the next week's video. So, you will have a week to solve the easy one that is today and the hard one and to try the hard one you will have one week okay before that video comes out fine so in today's video we are going to discuss about the easy version of character swap okay the steps are same that we will be first understanding the problem statement the test cases and then we will move on to the approach and here there is just a simple single approach a very straightforward approach for solving the easy version of the problem okay and in the next week's video we will see about the hard version of the problem fine so let's begin with character swap so let's understand the problem statement first okay so after struggling and failing many times Ujan decided to try and clean up his house he decided to get his strings in order first so let's write the important points down Ujan has two distinct strings s and t so we have two distinct strings okay one is s another is t fine of length n okay the length is n the length is n of both the strings okay fine all are lowercase strings of characters so both the strings contains lowercase characters fine he wants to make them equal okay fine he wants to make them equal so the next point is he wants to make both the strings equal since ujjan is lazy he will perform the following operation exactly once so whatever operation is it will be just followed once exactly once fine what is the operation the operation is he takes two positions i and j okay these are the i and j less than equal to n the value of i and j can be equal or different fine and swap the characters si and tj so from this string okay from the both strings he will choose some characters i and j and he will swap and he will swap these characters he will swap these characters present at the position i and the position j okay now if after swap s i s and t becomes equal after swapping s and t becomes equal then we need to print yes else we need to print no okay if it is equal print yes print no a simple straightforward question fine so note that the operation is performed exactly once now here in the easy version the operation is performed exactly once okay he has to perform the operation fine so what is the meaning here is that we will choose two positions i and j we will swap the i and j positions values at i and j characters at i and j and if after swapping both the strings become equal then we will print yes if both the strings does not become equal then we will print no okay this is the question so what is the test uh, input k less than 10 that is the number of test cases then the string can be maximum of 10,000 characters fine each of the next two lines contains s and t exactly length n lowercase english characters okay it's fine for each test case output yes if ujjain can make the two strings equal by performing the operation exactly once else no fine let's see here so for this is the example give, given so this is the example given okay so we have four test cases n equals to 5 for the first test case and here it is s o u s e and h o u h e now can they be same can they be become equal so it's very simple can we try different approaches okay can you think of different approaches to solve this problem so this is a very simple straightforward problem i think you can think of the approach by yourself okay so their implementation may differ some may use vectors some may use arrays fine implementation may differ some use strings some character strings but the approach i think it's very straightforward here so let's start matching let's start matching so is s equal to h no here there is a mismatch fine is o equal to o yes is u equal to u yes is h equals to s no is e equal to h no so we have a mismatch here at position i equal to zero and we have a mismatch here let's say this is the position j which is 0 1 2 3 okay at i equals to 0 we have a mismatch and at j equals to 3 we have a mismatch 
am i correct so we will swap ing let's swap ing characters okay so what we are doing is we have to swap si and tj okay that means from s the ith character and from t the jth character we need to swap so we need to swap snh so let's swap snh so if we swap what will come see this h will go here and this s will come here okay what is the meaning of swap here this h will go here and this s will come back here okay so what is what will be the string h o u s e and here also h o u s e since both are equal after performing the swap exactly once both are equal after performing the swap exactly once therefore in this test case we will print yes in this test case we will print yes as you can see in the next three cases we are printing no because we cannot make the strings equal after performing the operation exactly once so cat dog so here we have a mismatch at this position at this position also and at this position also so we cannot do anything in this we can only swap once we can only swap once okay similarly a a and a z we have a mismatch here no we do have a mismatch here yes now in this case i equals to j i equals to j i equal to equal to j am i correct we have a mismatch i equal to equal to j so even if we swap it will become a z and a a if we swap this one with this one it will become a z and a a now here it will it won't change anything it won't change anything fine so we got a case of i equal to equal to j okay here we got a case when i is not equal to j in the first one correct when we swapped so what we can think just by seeing this let's take one more example a b c and b c a there is a mismatch fine there is a mismatch and there is a mismatch now here we have three mismatches correct we can swap at only once we can swap only once so if we select this i and this j if we select this i and this j it will change nothing it will change nothing because a and a will be swapped with each other values will be same if we select this j and swap so it will become c b c okay and here it will become b a a i think fine so now also they are not same so we if we have more than two mismatch if we have more than two mismatch of different characters of different characters then also after swapping the strings won't be same the string won't be same so let's see the let's see the different cases let's write it down so what is the case first if i equal to equal to j then even after swapping the answer will definitely be no after just one swap we have to stop so answer will be no in the second case if i is not equal to j if i is not equal to j we need to check for some points correct now if i is not equal to j and there are there are more than two mismatch there are more than two mismatch in that case in that case the answer will definitely be no the answer will definitely be no because we can solve just two mismatch exactly we can solve two mismatch okay by a single swap for example the first example that we say there were two mismatch by a single swap we can solve exactly two mismatch not more than that fine so if there are more than two mismatch you can directly stop and say the answer is no fine now if there are two mismatch if there are two mismatch okay if there are two mismatch then in this case you we need to check we need to check whether after swapping after swapping the strings becomes equal to or not the strings become as equal to equal to t or not both becomes equal or not after swapping so what are the cases so if i equal to equal to j then no if i is not equal to j then then we have to check if there are more than two mismatch then no and if there is a mismatch then we need to perform the swapping we need to perform the swapping and after swapping if both the strings are not equal then no if both the strings are equal then yes okay pretty straightforward pretty direct question okay so let's begin with the implementation part here so here what we can simply do is we have two strings we have two strings for example the same example s o u s e and h o u h e fine okay so now what we will do is let's take a variable j let's take a variable j initialize it with minus 1 
okay we will point this variable to the first mismatch and i will be pointing to the second mismatch okay and we will swap we will swap if there are two mismatches we will simply swap fine so let's see so is there a mismatch here yes so let j point to this position let j point to this position fine and let's move i forward match it matching match matching match ma not matching so let i point to this position that is i is equal to 0 1 2 3 okay 0 1 2 3 correct so we have j we have i we found out the first mismatch okay we found out the first mismatch swap s of 0 and t of 3 now if after swapping after swapping they do not become equal they do not become equal so we can perform the swap on exactly once so this is inside a for loop obviously i is moving forward so after swapping just break now if it is not become equal if both the strings did not become equal then print no else print yes now we do not have to check if there are more than one two mismatch or not why so even if there are more than two mismatches even if there are more than two mismatches as soon as you get the first mismatch obviously you need to swap obviously we need to swap and the operation can only be performed once so if after swapping it is not equal then just simply print no fine so you do not need to check that condition by this method fine so just take the pointers that j and i point it to the first mismatch pointing to the second mismatch and swap if after swapping the strings does not become equal then the string will never become equal okay because we can only perform the swap once okay so this was the implementation let's now see the coding part of it okay this is the very direct implementation you will see in the coding part also okay so first we need to take the test case so this is the test case okay just change it with k or yes change it with k k number of test cases because t is a string here now just take the string as the inputs first we have to take n that is the size of the string so c in n fine next we have to take the strings as the input so string s and t just take the inputs c in s and t okay after taking the inputs of s and t then what we need to do then we just have to perform a loop perform a simple loop so int j equals to minus one okay for int i equal to 0 i equal to 0 i less than s dot length or n whatever you want to write okay s dot length and i plus plus so it's simple here if there is a mismatch that is s of i is not equal to t of i if there is a mismatch s of i is not equal to t of i in that case if my j is still less than zero then that is a first mismatch that less than zero means first mismatch so make j equal to i okay whatever i is pointing to now j will be pointing to that part if this is not the first mismatch that is j is le not less than zero j has some value then we need to swap we need to swap that means we are at our second mismatch so just swap s of i and t of j okay simple swapping nothing else fine after this after swapping just break okay why we will break so it's very simple because we just can perform this operation once we can perform this operation only once therefore we are breaking just after uh, the first swap okay after we break just check if s equal to equal to t then c out yes okay else we will see out no else just print no Print. no so very direct very straightforward question okay a very simple solution also fine so this is done this is our approach now this was an easy version obviously you found out that this was easy the implementation was easy the explanation was easy a shorter problem nothing much to do in this okay now what i want you to do now this problem was easy version i want you to try the harder version i want you to try on your own the harder version the link is given in the description box below okay so just try the hard version out fine so the hard version here is this so this was the easy version of the problem i want you to try the hard version of the problem okay let's go here and the b2 will be character swap hard version fine so just read the problem understand the problem the 
problem statement is exactly the same but here at most two n swaps are possible they are exactly one swap was possible here at most two n swaps are possible okay you have a week try to solve this problem inside that time limit okay do not see the editorials do not see the solutions try it on your own okay after that if you solve this problem on your own just see the video for the part if i am using some different approach then you fine if you haven't if you didn't but if you cannot solve the problem just see the video and see the solution fine so you have to try this problem out the hard version okay the easy version i solved the hard version i will solve the next week fine all the best